yes I am underneath the layout and in this video I'm gonna show you guys how I do the wiring and uh, I'm getting a lot of questions lately you know how I do the wiring what kind of power pack I'm using and uh, yeah I'm gonna show you guys all that and how I do this connector up here because you're gonna need a lot of those especially if you got a bigger layout you want to hook up a lot of lights and show you all these steps and everything so stick around and uh, let's go and do that As you can see, I'm running those two wires off my power pack. I'm just using a glue gun to glue it to the 2x4, which is what I'm using from the framework. And you drill your necessary holes for the cables to go through. And I got those set of connectors. And then the cables continue. Another 4-5 feet later, I get another set of connectors. And then the two cables continue. And so on and so forth. So every five six seven feet as you need it you feel like okay i'm gonna have a lot of lights in this area put in a set of connectors here i just want to show you guys what i built which came really useful for me to sit on it and this way you can just slide around underneath the layout and you know you can sit comfortably and reach for those connectors those wires but when you gotta glue those wires in place and screw them in place and all that it, it was really useful and all it is is 2x4 and half inch plywood top and bottom and some caster wheels on the bottom. That's it. So these are those connectors that I bought off uh, eBay. And I think I got a whole bag of them, like 50 of them, really cheap. And these are the wires I'm using, 18 gauge wire. I'm using black and white, but the color is really up to you. You can use any color you want. Then I take off the coating from each end. And uh, yeah, about 12, 13 millimeter, because once you put it together, it's going to be shorter anyway. So here I'm starting to uh, twist two black wires uh, together. And when you do that, you're going to make sure that you're actually twisting both wires at the same way or the same time. And uh, once you do that, then I bend the one wire into a U shape, like upside down. And then adding the next piece of wire to that one, and then start twisting those two wires together. And basically, this is what you would have to do all the way. So, if you got a connector of 12, then you're gonna have to have 12 wires that need to be twisted together. And uh, I'm adding another piece of wire, this is the third wire, and then I'm gonna twist that one together. And then I'm going to show you guys in close up what it should look like, something like this. So I'm just uh, adding more wires to it, twisting more wires together till I get 12 of them. And uh, once you're done with both, then this is what they should look like. And uh, I like to put a little bit of solder on those wires before I put it into the connector. and tighten it with the screw so I'm just putting a little bit of flex paste on it and uh, I got my solder gun quite turned up like probably like 400 degrees and uh, put actually quite a bit of solder on it and this way just want to make sure that you know it's gonna stays together but you can probably even get away with uh, you know without adding the solder to it so if you did a twisting part really good and nice and tight, you should be able to just put it into connectors like that. But this is just how I'm doing it. So just like to add some solder to it. And uh, I got to do that, of course, to all those wires that we twisted together. And here I'm putting some solder on the other wire, on the white one. And uh, this is what they look like with a little bit of solder on it. Close up. I hope you can see this properly. That's all you need, just a little bit of solder just to keep it together. And then 
I'm gonna insert it into those connectors and first that little tiny screw that's in there you gotta undo it unscrew it and then just start putting in the first wire into the first hole and then tighten up the screw and you really want to get that nice and tight and then loosen the next screw and then just put in the next uh, wire push it in all the way as far as it goes and then tighten up the screw and then basically you're gonna have to do this all the way till you got all the wires put in the connector and uh, once you did that then this is what they should look like but you don't want to install it in this position this is how you want it so the wires on the top and the wires on the bottom and this is the screw that I'm using and for these this size of connectors um, I usually use three screws one in the middle and then one towards the each end it doesn't have to be at the very end but I usually put it in that position towards the end and then one in the middle and then you just screw it into your uh, 2 by 4 and then when you hooking up the wires you can see you just bend the wire one up one down and then it just fits in nice and perfect you can also screw in uh, the resistor you can see I got a couple of those yeah, you just undo the screw put the resistor in there and then tighten it up yeah, so you can you don't have to add an extra wire to the resistor so you just screw the wire into the connector that you can just uh, do it either the wire or the resistor that's perfectly fine and this is the uh, power pack that I'm using from this one but it's made for the European 220 volt and for the European plug like the receptacle which I do have in my basement even though I live here in Canada but I, I made 220 in my basement with the European receptacles I just brought it from Germany and then I made it work so this is why I'm able to use this but any power pack basically would uh, work I just went into Amazon and uh, I thought I'd show you guys the cable that I'm actually using hooking up all my lights so this is the cable I just bought recently it's like a hundred feet long and <clears throat> let me show you what it's called there it is it's Ethernet cable 100 feet gray it was 28 bucks and it comes in different length as you can see mm, but uh, you don't you don't need this connector I'm just gonna cut that off and then we're gonna strip the wires right out of there but uh, I'm gonna show you one other thing here okay this here see on the inside you're gonna have four set of cables four times two cables and these are all different colors too and I believe if I go down here this gives you guys a better picture this is a 500 feet it doesn't have the ends on it those connections which you don't need anyway and yeah so this is what it looks like from the inside and you're gonna need like a set of wire two wires to hook up a light so whatever the length you're purchasing you can times it by four basically okay so i'm gonna show you guys how to get all the wires out from here so i'm gonna cut off oh, oops a two meter section that's about all i need and uh, yeah we don't need this and this is the knife that i'm using and just place it down and just start cut into it actually gonna do it so you cut away from your finger and then just start slicing it open and then it should just just peel it right off basically and you can see we have those four set of wires inside they're all different color and then you just hold this in place well, you probably can't really see that <clears throat> and then just cut right into it and 
then once you did that, just grab the wires and just pull on it. And then you're gonna put it down, cut it again. You're gonna watch for your fingers, of course. And then this tool comes right out. And here you have it, you got four set of wires and they uh, yeah, they all different color and then you just pull them apart like that. Yeah, and that's it. And these are the wires that I'm using for hooking up my lights. And I think this is actually like 26 gauge. But like I said, this way, you buy that one spool of uh, Ethernet cable and there is like eight wires inside, so four times two wires. So the 100 feet is actually 400 feet. So I think it's worth 28 bucks. I hope you guys like this video. And if you guys have any questions as usual, leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell if you don't wanna miss any of my videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video, probably in the next few weeks. Thank you, bye.